fact that Megan is an American, of course, her audience is now on a global scale, and there is immense interest in the couple, especially as they're about to welcome baby. And in response to that, they have decided to move to a quieter location. They have moved some 25 miles outside of London to Windsor to Frogmore Cottage, where they can have a more relaxed upbringing for their baby. The, ba the baby will be uh, Anglo-American, which is very exciting for, for America and Americans. This, this will be the first royal American since Wallace Simpson. And also, um, this is the first time an American mum has been in the royal family as well. Yes, it is. Yes, of course, because she didn't have... Yes, this is also the first time that a, a royal mother has been so close to uh, the throne. You know, Har Harry is the Prince of Wales' second son. And um, so, so this is very exciting for everybody. Meghan Markle has broken new ground in the royal family since day one. Not only is she the first biracial royal, but she is the first American royal. And uh, in turn, her baby will be the first biracial royal, modern royal baby in line for the throne and also an American citizen. And now may I invite Her Royal Highness to unveil the plaque and speak to us. Thank you. Yeah. Is that all right? Yes. Thank you. you. want to do that first? Or? No, I'll stay. With the dual nationality, do you think that allows for modernisation? What can we read into that, basically? I think we can read into the dual nationality anything we like, but a lot of American parents actually quite like the way that the English bring up their parents. They may not approve of the boarding school, um, and, but I think they quite like the idea of a nanny and manners being very important and some of the uh, traditions. So uh, it, it could be either way, we don't know. Another thing we don't know is how Meghan will bring baby up, whether it'll be in a traditional way like Harry, or if it'll be in a much more modern Modern way. I do think we might see baby slung in a papoose somewhere along the line rather than being pushed in a big pram. We've already seen how Meghan has brought in some of her, her own traditions and heritage into her royal wedding, and so it's safe to assume she's going to want to do the same when it comes to bringing up her baby, and Harry's going to be right on board with that, as he was for the wedding. Um, there's reports that they are looking into getting an American nanny, possibly, even a male nanny. Um, they are looking into different schools, might be different, take a departure from William and Kate and send their, their kid to a school that has American influence. 